ever since Donald Trump lost the general election, the number of conservatives who have joined Parler has increased quite a bit. And it gives us an opportunity to dunk on these conservatives because they are being giant babies. Now, Parler is supposed to be the answer to Twitter. As we know, right wingers have been claiming that Twitter is censoring them. They hate the fact that Twitter is now finally fact checking Donald Trump and all the disinformation he puts out there regarding the election. And so they're like, mm, we wanna go to a place where we can really exercise our free speech. So. Parler became their safe space. Now, Parler shot up to number one on Apple's App Store the day after major media outlets projected Joe Biden would win the 2020 presidential election. Parler has been downloaded nearly 1 million times within five days of election day, November 3rd. Now, the original push to join Parler actually began in June when social media sites started labeling Trump tweets as misleading. And so here's a quick example of various right wingers who were like, join Parler, it's so great. There's Rand Paul, it's about time you all join the Parler app. What's taking the rest of you so long, blah, blah, blah. You have Devin. Nunez, um, is this MySpace? Dan Bongino, join Parler. You guys get the picture. And uh, Parler does describe itself as non biased free speech social media focused on protecting users' rights. And that's why Ted Cruz joined it. Watch. Big tech has shown the ability to shadow ban or to silence whatever you say. What that's why I'm proud to join Parler. This platform gets what free speech is all about, and I'm excited to be a part of it. Let's speak, let's speak freely, and let's end the Silicon Valley censorship. Except there's a catch. As expected, Parler does censor opinions they don't like. So uh, one Parler user, James Wellmeyer, told NBC News, pretty much all of my leftist friends joined Parler to screw with MAGA folks. And every last one of them was banned in less than 24 hours because conservatives truly love free speech. Writer and comedian uh, Tony Poznanski um, also received a ban from the app saying, free speech my ass. I literally said less than here and I got banned, he tweeted. And by the way, I should note that Parler has some pretty sketchy privacy issues. For instance, for people who choose to join the app's influencer network, the company may ask for information such as your social security number or your tax identification number. That is insane. That is insane. I've literally never had a website, I don't think, that wasn't affiliated with the government that wanted either of those things. That's not gonna end up in some sort of massive con <laughs> in some way. Yeah, no, it's just nonsense. One of the issues with America is that we create language which that seems as if in theory it could be applied to both people, but it's only ever applied to people in the left or maybe the center. Um, you know, when, when people are acknowledging that Joe Biden won the election, the right wingers get pissed off uh, because that's politically, it's not politically correct. They don't use that term when right wingers get mad, but that's definitely what it is. Parlor is a safe space, that's all it is. It's not about censorship on other platforms, it's wanting to be insulated from opinions you don't like. Twitter censoring, no, they say shadow banning. They've literally never proven that that actually happens. And, and if you want the best demonstration of how committed Twitter is to never censoring things, even when there's a very good case to be made that it should be, Donald Trump has tweeted today 30 things designed to help overthrow democracy. And, and they put a little label at the bottom. They haven't even got rid of it. He's totally fine, he can keep doing it. He'll do, he'll do it now, right. between now and inauguration 500 more times, they'll never censor him. It's just that grift needs to be, grift requires victimhood. And so they will always pretend that they are censored, no matter how much extra boost and reach they're given by people like Mark Zuckerberg and all of that. It is pathetic, it's pathetic, but they're making money off of it. Well, just one more piece of evidence to buttress your point or reinforce your point, John. Who's funding Parler? Well, Parler is being funded by wealthy hedge fund investor Robert Mercer and his daughter Rebecca Mercer. So it is a safe space for right wingers to argue that this is truly a social media platform where all ideas are welcomed and no one gets censored is absolutely ridiculous. And there is a difference between censorship and correcting a disinformation campaign. Yeah. Um, and I think that when it comes to our election and protecting our democracy, labeling something as misleading uh, makes a lot of sense. That's not the same as censoring someone. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, we really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. 
you'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.